Uh, you know, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out that our infrastructure is old and in need of repair. And whether you're talking about rail or transit, our highways, our bridges, broadband going out to our rural communities, uh, new water infrastructure, our power systems, uh, some new technologies with regards to power, all these things are places that uh, really do need some investment. And uh, frankly, a lot of presidents have pointed this out. President Trump, for instance, suggested $2 trillion would be appropriate in an infrastructure package. That was never able to be made law under his administration. But uh, a group of Republicans and Democrats have been working together over the last several weeks and months uh, to come up with a bipartisan proposal. And we were able to work together and actually get something, if you will, done. We got an agreement. Uh, we spend $559 billion over the next five years for roads and bridges, highways, for our, our uh, electric infrastructure, airport infrastructure, rail systems, transit, power, the list goes on and on. And uh, this is done without raising taxes, without adding to the deficit. And uh, we're pretty proud of the fact that we were able to work together collaboratively. I just, come back, I just came back from meeting with the, the president, the group of eight of us who were negotiating this deal uh, met with the president. Uh, he has been part of the negotiations and, and has signed off on them. So uh, we've taken the next step, which is we have something that the president and a lot of Republicans and Democrats stand behind. Uh, we'll see whether it becomes law, but I think it's got a really good prospect for getting there.